All right, up for sale is an extremely rare 2014 Porsche Carrera 911 Anniversary Edition Coupe. This vehicle is number 705 out of 911 Porsche 911s that were produced in 2014. Now this particular vehicle is equipped the anniversary edition graphite gray base color and then you've also got the anniversary themed interior which includes the papita seats you've got the higher grade leather and then you also have brushed aluminum accents throughout the vehicle now this vehicle is equipped with the naturally aspirated 430 horsepower 325 pounds of torque 3.8 liter h6 motor and then you've also got the very rare seven speed manual transmission uh, from what i hear i believe there's about 10 percent of the anniversary uh, 911s that had the manual transmission so to get the three pedal uh, vehicle in the anniversary edition is pretty rare and through my listing i'll go through and list all of the options there's just so many that i may may not be able to get all of them in the video uh, but the vehicle is equipped very very nicely uh, one of the Bigger adds is the PDCC suspension. That is the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control Suspension. And uh, what the, that allows the vehicle to do is if you uh, select that mode and you are driving and you get on the, an uneven surface, the vehicle will level out through the suspension components. Uh, so I know it's a very sought after option and a very expensive option as well. Now this vehicle is a consignment vehicle, uh, so it was not an auction block vehicle that I bought through the auction. I am a automotive dealer and motorcycle dealer, um, but this is a consignment through a good friend of mine. I personally know the owner and he has owned the vehicle for a couple of years. He is very, very meticulous about his vehicles. He's got a collection of very high-end vehicles and he really takes pride in ownership. plus dollar uh, maintenance through the local Porsche dealer and I can provide documentation for that. You've also got brand new Pirelli uh, P0 tires throughout the whole vehicle. Uh, the date codes are recent. Um, I believe two of them are early 2018 and the other two are late 2018. Uh, there's less than 500 miles on the full set of tires. The vehicle's in immaculate condition, as mentioned before. Uh, I'm going ahead and doing a condition report. Um, out of a 10, I'm going to give the vehicle a rating of a 9.75. Um, it is that clean and is in great condition. Uh, the only reason I am not giving it a 10 is because it is not brand new. I never give uh, any used vehicle uh, a condition report of a 10. Um, we'll go, go ahead and do some close-ups to, to kind of go through everything. Um, there's really not much to note. There is, a, I believe, one or two uh, cosmetic blemishes that I'll, I'll point out for you. got that front butter bumper and uh, front end splitter. The uh, splitter is in pretty much near perfect shape. There are no scrapes, scratches, bruises, anything of that sort. Try to get under
underneath and see if, if you can notice anything, but I really cannot notice any, uh, any cosmetic blemishes there. We've got the passenger headlight assembly that's in phenomenal shape. Uh, the whole, I believe the whole front end, as far as the bumper, the hood, the fenders, uh, all have PPF or the paint protection film. And so that has been protected and I believe that's been on since new. So there's really, so there's really no major issues to point out. That driver headlight, that's in great condition as well. Got the 20 inch Porsche wheels. Uh, they look to be in phenomenal shape with no curb rash. Those are the new uh, Pirelli tires. Date code on that front tire is January of 19. Calipers are in great shape. Cross drilled rotors are in good shape. The car has never been driven excessively in inclement weather. There's always garage. That roof is in great shape. No rock chips or blemishes that I can really point out. Just a little bit of dust, so. Yeah, driver mirrors in great shape. No major blemishes to point out there. That driver's door is in great condition as well. Side skirts are pretty much flawless. Looks like you've got that paint protection film on that rear area in front of the rear tire it's just to uh, protect the vehicle from any debris flying up the rear uh, 20 inch Porsche wheel is in great condition no uh, curb rash or flaws to point out only thing I can note is there's looks like there's a weight uh, previously placed here and the uh, adhesive is still there got the date code of, let's see, the 34th week of 2018. So it's going to be towards the latter part of 2018, so the rubber's in good condition. It's not going to be dried out. I will point out the first blemish that I can see you've got a little bit of a nick right there in that that paint on that rear bumper very very small um, and you can kind of compare it to the size of my finger but you're I'm gonna say you're about 1 16th in diameter but very very minor but it is there and I want you to be aware of that The rear window is in great shape. No major blemishes or flaws to point out there. Got the uh, rear engine hatch cover. Chrome is in great shape. No oxidation, pitting, flaking, anything of that sort. Same with the uh, Porsche emblem. Pretty much flawless. Ex 
exhaust tips are in great condition. We'll go through that bumper again from left to right. car really is a, a prime example of a pretty loved uh, vehicle. I know the owner was very hesitant to put the vehicle up for sale. He really does love it, but again, he's got a, a pretty uh, large collection of vehicles and uh, the vehicle just isn't being driven enough to justify being, uh, being kept. Here's the angle of the roof from the side. No major blemish to point out. You do have the sunroof delete. And um, so this is gonna be more of an accurate depiction of, a, of an older 911. Rear quarter panel on the passenger side is in phenomenal shape. No major blemishes. There might be a little bit of dust on the vehicle just from being out and about. You've got that passenger rear wheel that's in great shape. No uh, major cosmetic blemishes to uh, point out. Date code on this one is the 34th week of 18. So it's the same, exactly the same as the other side. Glass on the passenger side is in great shape. Passenger side of the vehicle is in phenomenal shape. The door is in great condition. No, uh, no major blemishes to point out there. You've got the side skirt that's in great shape. Uh, we will also include photos of the undercarriage to give you an accurate depiction of how clean the undercarriage of the vehicle is. We've got that windshield that's again is pretty much in flawless condition. Um, you've got the aftermarket brushed aluminum OEM Porsche gas cap. You know that's an aftermarket option. I believe it's two or three hundred dollars and uh, so definitely want to point that out. You have that passenger front side wheel. That's in great shape. No cosmetic blemishes to point out. No curb rash. The uh, brake rotors and the brake calipers in great shape. So I'll go ahead and fire the vehicle up for you. there of 16,478. Mileage may go up just slightly just from uh, driving it back to the garage. You've got the uh, navigation system. You've got that 7-speed gearbox. You've got the sport package and the sport plus package. a little bit more performance out of the vehicle. I believe it opens up the valves on the exhaust and um, makes the vehicle a little bit louder. You've got that uh, 911 anniversary edition uh, plate in there uh, noting that the vehicle is number 705 out of 911 examples.
can hear the motor sounds very healthy. No excessive noise, nothing of that sort. Let's go ahead and pop the uh, hatch cover on the uh, engine. We've got that Carrera uh, 3.8 exclusive power kit. Power kit was a, an additional option as well. We've got the uh, carbon fiber uh, nameplate there. Uh, a nice and cool uh, depiction of the vehicle. Got those cooling fans running, doing exactly what it should be doing. sport. You can hear the exhaust valves open up. Makes the motor a little bit louder. shut her down and then I'll do some close-ups of the interior. I will go through, you've got your navigation system, you've got the heated seat, uh, buttons right there, and then you've got all your option, optional uh, settings there as far as the PDCC suspension and your sport package, uh, so on and so forth. And you've got your clock up there plate and then you've got cup holders underneath there as well. So you've got that anniversary edition interior. 
interior is in phenomenal sheet or in phenomenal shape excuse me you've got no wear on the seat bolster there whatsoever you can tell uh, whoever's on the vehicle um, they have not abused the seat bolts bolster whatsoever I mean it's as close to new as you're gonna get for a 2014 model you've got those rear uh, passenger seats facilitate a lot of room but um, they, I'm sure they're used once in a while and they are in great condition I doubt they've ever really been used uh, by the owner of the vehicle currently you've got that 911 50th anniversary nameplate there as well VIN number badge there, produced in November of 2013. You've got your power window switch in your uh, memory seat switch as well. You've got your power seat uh, controls right there. We've also got the Porsche uh, all-weather rubber floor mats which is definitely nice to uh, preserve the condition of the factory carpet Alright, you've got that passenger seat. Again, the seat bolster doesn't have any wear. It's in phenomenal shape as well. You've got the uh, 911 embroidery on both seats there. Rear seats are in great condition as well. Again, I don't think they've really ever been used a whole lot. I definitely want to point them out. got that front rubber Porsche all-weather floor mat dash is in great condition no major blemishing in fact no blemishes whatsoever it's nice and smooth got the window switch there which is in great shape interior door panels in great shape that front engine bonnet storage area you've got two uh, of your carpet mats I believe those are for the right rear passenger area and then you've got your front license plate mounting bracket obviously that's never been mounted interior portion of the front engine hood bonnet is in great shape So there you have it, definitely shows the vehicle's in phenomenal shape. It drives and function, functions as it should. It is, has been maintained properly. Um, if you guys do have any additional questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, contact me. Uh, my name is Chase Holbrook and I am owner and president of Auto Realm. And 
Uh, I'd be happy to answer any additional questions for you. My direct line is 801-564-0629. Again, that's 801-564-0629. Um, you can also check out our direct website, which is www.autorealm.com. And that's going to be www.auto-realm.com. Um, I'd also suggest subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, we do specialize in a lot of semi-custom motorcycles and some exotic vehicles. I most definitely appreciate your time and also look forward to the possibility of working with you. Thank you so much.